What's up, dog? My name is Bogle, but my friends call me Bo. I'm an investor's best friend because I teach humans how to invest like the big dog. In my videos, I'm going to teach you everything you need to know about how to grow your money regardless of what the stock market is doing. In the next few videos, we'll start with some very important fundamentals. This may not sound super exciting, but this avoids anyone getting caught with the pants down, if you know what I mean. In later videos, we'll combine everything we learned into an actual system that might just change your life. So grab your favorite treat, sit, stay, and let's get started on your path to financial success. I now present to you the fundamentals of how to invest like the big dogs. Woof! It's no secret that dogs sleep a lot. I'm not gonna lie, I may from time to time indulge in what you might call the typical 18 hour long coma slash nap accompanied by some fairly intense snoring. Sure, I may have sawed down a few forests in my time and to the untrained eye, this may appear to be laziness or perhaps even a lack of motivation. In reality, investing like the big dogs, while it can be profitable, is actually very, well, uh, boring. You see, the whole point of investing like the big dogs is to make investing so easy and take so little time that it frees you up to do the stuff you really enjoy, like chasing ball balls or eating the occasional tasty morsel you may randomly find on the floor. I mean, let's face it, your paws aren't going to lick themselves. If it's excitement you're seeking, you are barking up the wrong tree. For that, I highly recommend chasing squirrels or messing with cats. Both are proven winners. As for the big dogs, they want a system that is consistent, fairly predictable, and repeatable. That is what I'm going to teach you. So now, go take a long nap, and when you come back, we'll lay down some of the basics. You are now officially on your way to investing like the big dogs. Woof! Now that the pleasantry is out of the way, let's review the rules of investing used by the big dogs. First rule of investing is, you do not talk about investing. The second rule of investing is, you do not talk about investing. Okay, so they're not actually the rules, but I said that just to get rid of all the cats that may be lurking in the room. As you know, they hate rules of any kind. They're also easily offended as you can tell from the, I just sucked on a lemon expressions on their smug, off-put faces. It's not like I poop in the litter box thingies every chance I get. Uh, <laughs> all right, maybe I do, but who doesn't, am I right? And while we're on that topic, why don't they just go outside on the lawn like everyone else? Sorry, <laughs> us dogs tend to get easily distracted. For realsies this time, if you want to invest like the big dogs, you're going to have to decide whether you're going to think like a dog or a cat. I suppose we could also include squirrels, but they're just nutty, so we'll leave them out of it and stick with the dogs and cats. You will find there is a world of difference between how dogs and cats think about investing. One might deduce it's because dogs are so much smarter, but why state the obvious? Woof. Before we get into how to invest like the big dogs, we need to start with some of the basics. This is one of the very, very rare cases where cats can actually be helpful. I probably don't have to tell you that the most important thing to any cat is looking cool. For them, it's all about image and attitude. They're the runway models of the animal kingdom. But I'll tell you what they're not. They're not investors. Oh no, <laughs> they're gamblers. They're always chasing the newest, shiniest stocks and buying them at the wrong time. Sure, they get lucky once in a while. Even a blind squirrel occasionally finds a nut, am I right? And they don't mind telling you how brilliant they are every chance they get. Big kanakas, those cats. What they won't tell you about is all the times they get it wrong. In the end, they tend to bark, I mean meow, up the wrong tree. As a dog, I just want to make money so I can get my treats on. So, if that means my investing is methodical and boring, I'm good. I'm making bank. Slobber running down my face? No problem. I'm making bank. I'm covered in mud? No problem. I'm making bank. I'm drinking out of that tasty water dish in the bathroom? <laughs> well, you get the idea. So, are you a cat person that gambles your money and eventually goes broke? Or a dog person that follows a smart plan and buys your own bulk bags of those tasty treats. The choice is yours. Woof. Now 
our emotions can, at times, get the best of us. The human who delivers our mail can certainly attest to that. Unlike them little yappy dogs with the big bulging eyes who can only like one old lady and want to tear everybody else's face off, big dogs keep their emotions on a tight leash. When they invest, they control their emotions, especially fear and greed. Think of them as the creepy Siamese cats of emotions. See, it's like when my human puts some tasty food in front of me and tells me to stay. I'm always starving and all I can think about is that delicious treat right in front of my face. I start to wonder, is old flat face looking? Could I maybe sneak a little teeny bite without anyone noticing? Heck, I could probably eat the whole thing and nobody would even care. That's what we in the business call greed. Meanwhile, it feels like decades, possibly eons, slowly passing by. What if someone takes it away before I can eat it? What if human number one eats it? He sure eats a lot. <laughs> this is where fear comes into the picture. So I edge closer. Surely there would be no objection if my tongue just happened to fall on the food and some, or perhaps all of it, fell into my mouth, which is conveniently open at the time. In the end, if I'm good and I control my emotions, my human is happy and I get the treat. That's what you call a win-win. That is, at least for the .0001 second, it takes to gulp it down and restart the whole entire process again. Say, human, you're gonna eat that? Whoa. Do you remember the first time you ever chased a squirrel? I sure do. I wasted a lot of time chasing them. Then one day, when I was sniffing up the wrong tree, I noticed how the big dogs did it. You see, they never, ever chase squirrels. Squirrels are possibly the fastest thing on earth, paws down. Some can even use those uh, loose flaps of skin under their arms to fly. Oh, so gross. I think I just threw up in my mouth. Chickens can't even fly. Squirrels are tricky, too. They bob and weave, weave and bob, and it's hard to tell what they're going to do next. Heck, even they don't know what they're going to do next. I'm not sure that I've actually ever seen one standing still. I heard that some lucky dog caught one in 1973, but that could be just one of them, their uh, urban myths. All I know is that by the time I see them, they're nothing more than a brown blur with a twitching, fluffy tail. The big dogs realize this and don't give chase. Instead, they wait for the squirrels to come to them, which they will do eventually because, well, they're all nuts. Investing should be the same way. Wait for the opportunities to come to you and then pounce. Never, ever chase a squirrel. Woof. We just covered some of the basics. Don't be fooled by their simplicity. Oh no. Us humans will spend their entire lifetimes, which on average is over 500 dog years, trying to master them. Of course, for dogs, these concepts come naturally. But then again, we can spend significant amounts of time chasing our own tails. So I guess it evens out in the end. But I digress. Now, it's time to expand our knowledge of the fundamentals in this next episode, where we'll learn about topics like risk management, the power of compounding interest, and understanding how the market moves. Congratulations, you are now one step closer to knowing how to invest like the big dog. Woof! Before you go, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and maybe even like this video if you're so inclined. Who's a good human? You are. You are. Woof!